city of angels. From its white sand beaches to its majestic vistas and Hollywood. It embodies the California dream. But it's also the gang capital of the world. And welcome to MTDW, ladies and gentlemen. Dom DeMarco. I am MC Darkness, joined by Big Earn, and we are coming to you live from the Dark Zone in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Big Earn, say what's up to the people. What, what up, Ayers? We have got a big show coming for you guys tonight. Two weeks away, Earn, from popular demand the second premium dark live event in the company's history yeah sounds great uh let's be happy that i made for my second week of uh rehab so i'm i'm feeling good today uh, lots well, of energy okay well i wasn't gonna bring it up but since you already did uh so is the, the treatment's going well uh you've got your se- you've got your second token officially yes, yes i got my second token um and i'm happy about that um, i'm proud and i'm taking it one day at a time round of applause for big earn yeah, yeah. That's what we that's what we do here. You know, whenever whenever somebody's gonna having a hard time, we don't fire people. We just we send them to get some help. You know. Thank you. 
Thank you. But there's there's only so much help we can give you, Aaron. For real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are starting off today, hot and heavy, with our number one contender going for the open weight championship. The winner of the open weight classic, Andrade El Idolo. Now this is his first match, his first return to the uh, dark zone, and he will be having a match against a new up and comer in El Desperado. Yeah, that should be a, it. Should be a good match. Um, a nice little tune up before popular demand. Uh, Andrade needs to get all his kinks and you know get get everything well tuned like a fine machine and so he can get ready for his uh his title shot that is true yeah he he's gonna really have to do a lot in this i think he's gonna have to prove why he is the number one contender and you would think that you know winning a big tournament like the open weight class would be enough but now the real hard work starts in him trying to maintain and show that he uh, is the true number one contender and the true right to the air of that championship. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to be an easy task, but you know what? I think Andrade might be the man to be able to close, uh, to do what he needs to do, close out. All right. And we have got the boat up and ready, guys, for the first match of the show. Get your, your bets ready, and let's get into the match. You said I heard he went away to get that Chavo hair. The Chavo hair implant put in. <laughs> Max, disrespectful. <laughs> Real disrespectful, Max. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 259 pounds, Andre Day. Already 1K on Desperado. So the Ooh. winner of the uh, open weight classic going into this uh, at a fan's disadvantage, it looks like, Ern. Yeah, um, I'm surprised to see that, but it doesn't surprise me. I kind of know who it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Andrade, this should be a big test for him. We'll, we'll see how much homework uh, and how much work Andrade has put in, hopefully to get a victory in this match. I think uh, Andrade knows that uh, there's a there's a big eye on him right now. Uh, he is going to come in this. He's got the fire. Uh, yes, he's a part of Los Ingrenables. Yes, they are all about Tranquilo, taking it easy, being calm. Uh, but there's also a time when you just got to go out and show out and prove that you're the best. I think he knows that. Absolutely agree. 100% I agree with you. Putting that fist up, representing Los Ingrenables de Japón. You've got to think he's been uh, uh, talking a lot to the former champion, the inaugural champion, uh, Hiromu, who's also in the Los Ingrenables faction. Yeah, true indeed. Uh, all the points you can get, you should take. The Death Parado is going to catch him on fire. Japan, weighing in at 237 pounds, L, the Destroyer. Death Parado. Now, this man, he hasn't won a lot of matches, but he has been putting on clinics. I was going to say, he's been putting on hell, he's been putting on fantastic performances every match he's had. So you can't ever say any of his matches are boring, but uh, he's due for another win. Andrade just better hope it's not him tonight. That is true. He has been on the cusp multiple times. Andrade doesn't want to be the one that he gets that win again. For sure, I agree. And more importantly, what would it mean if Desperado did get a win, Ern. We saw last week Malachi had a match against Jeff Cobb and lost that match. What would it mean if the champion and the challenger both lost their matches going into popular demand? Well, it, to me, it would just seem like they both need to go back to the drawing board and maybe reevaluate how they're going to attack each other in this match in two weeks. But you know what? Jeff Cobb deserved that win last week. Whenever he had his match, I can't remember. But, uh, We'll see. If, we'll see if Andrade can uh, pull out a win over Desperado tonight. We will see. Referee signifies for the bell, and we are off to the races. First match on the card, guys. 
already oh. Andrade taking control. Yeah. Nice slap yeah. to the chest. Yeah, nice. Yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Heard said him. Idolo and Mr. Idolo opponent about both of you go to AEW and tell AEW boss say hello for me. Okay, mate. Okay, Jack Napier. There you go. There you go, Jack. <laughs> there you go. Desperado telling Andrade to get up. And oh. a hammer fist from the top rope. Nothing flashy. Yeah. Not, not flashy, but still hurt. Hell yeah. And I like how he has the arm trap going for this half Boston Crab urn. This is yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we got a couple kicks in the face. Nice way to get out of it. The challenger ooh, misses the ooh. elbow. Yeah, he did. He missed that bad, too. Desperado able to capitalize. Trump handle. Oh, never mind. Nice reversal by Andrade. Stomps on the chest of um, Desperado. Desperado trying to get back in the advantage. Nice go around and a oh. gut buster. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful gut. Yeah, that was fantastic. I like that a lot. Desperado, first one to go for a cover. Quick kick out. Now, there hasn't been too much damage going on that was not going to put Andrade away. No, the, the, the fist is right to the face of Andrade right there. And going to the top rope. Oh, Desperado misses the knee. Yeah, that Goodness sucked. gracious. Missed. Oh, oh. Andrade missed the uh, uh, the drop kick. Yeah, he uh, missed the chance to get back into this match. And now we got Desperado taking control again. And Desperado, oh my goodness. Desperado He's in control. Oh. Death Valley driver. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that hurts. Is that going to be it? One, two. Very Ooh. close. Ooh. Very close. That was close. Goodness gracious. Oh. Big kick to the gut by Desperado. Desperado is going to go for the numero dos. His stretch uh -oh. muffler. And he has this isn't looking in. good for Andrade. No, it is not. Not at all. Ooh, Andrade is able to kick out of it. Hits the drop Ooh. kick on the second attempt, Ern. He hit it that time. Yeah, he needed that. He needs to get some offense going together. He really does. He needs to come back. He needs to do something. Referee standing in his way. Good oh Lord. man, these Andrade referees is in not MTDW. Yeah, he's not. He's not catching a break tonight. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. Didn't go for the pin. He saw Desperado's. Uh oh. Well, I don't know what he was doing right there. I think he wanted to set up for his uh his, his corner Pele kick. Uh oh. But Desperado uh -oh. got up too quickly. Nice. That was beautiful. Again, trying to set up for that Pele, but Desperado's just recovering way too quickly, Ern. Yeah, he's on. He's on, Desperado's. He's got a good game plan for his match tonight. He's been executing very well. Ooh, he has been. Oh my goodness! Big punches. Oh shit! This might be it. No, Andrade. Oh, no. Senton. Oh no! Another reversal. <gasps> Big punch was missed. Uh oh. Andrade just kicks him down. Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. Aiming for the corner. The double knee. Oh. Desperado in a lot of trouble. Oh, God, just step over it disrespectfully. <laughs> Going for the cover. <laughs> One, two. Oh. That was close, Ern. That was a nice two count. I think he was I, trying to stand him up for that hammerlock DDT. I, I can was, see what he's doing. Oh. oh, never mind. I was about to say, I think a hammerlock DDT, but Desperado uh -oh. catches Andrade with the... Oh, Bow. my Pinche Loco. Pinche Loco. One, two. Earn, what is happening with the open weight division? What is going on? Wow. As you can see, Desperado came out and he handled business. The number one contender has been pinned by Desperado after a pinch a logo. Unbelievable. Just after a couple weeks before, uh, since the champion got defeated. Malachi has been pinned, exactly. It is exactly what I stated at the beginning. The champion has been pinned, and now the challenger pin has been pinned. 
What does that mean? Max says, call me Nostradamus. <laughs> Nostradamus. <laughs> My goodness. The Destroyer. Hey, that's not taking anything away from Desperado. Fantastic showing. Fantastic match. I agree, Aaron. This was a great, great match that he put on. Desperado coming away victorious with the dub. Congratulations to him. I am in shock, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe that we have just seen the challenger beaten two weeks after we saw the champion beating his match as well. Yeah, it, it, it just doesn't even... Apparently, it doesn't matter if you're the challenger or the champion. Uh, everybody is falling down in the open weight division. We got to see what's going on with them. Craziness. Guys, that was just the first match... Uh, I don't know what that means for the match at Popular Demand. We will see if there's an update, um, and we will hear about that either by the end of the show or by next week. But guys, up next, we have got uh, Ricochet going up against Ilya uh. Dragunov. <laughs> I just said Ricochet, and just all of a sudden. So last week, after um, the uh, uh, I, after Swerve and Our Glory had their match. We had all-out gang warfare earned. We had the EA and we had uh, the public enemies just brawling with one another. Uh, mm -hmm. And because of that, it has been made official. Public enemies do not want to give uh, Finn Balor and um, um, Zack Sabre Jr. a title match. So it has been made by officials that there will be a six-man elimination uh, match at popular demand between the uh, public enemies and the Euro Alliance. It will be the team of Swerve in Our Glory and Ricochet going up against Ilya Dragunov and uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Finn Balor. That'll be a crazy match. That will be a crazy match. Um, I would, of course, you know, I'm, I'll go for the public enemies, but... I see who the third person in, in the sixth on their team is, and I don't have anything positive to say about Ricochet. Oh my goodness! So you think they're just going into that with a disadvantage already? Yeah, it's, it might as well be three on two. <laughs> well, guys, we—I will get the um, uh, the bets ready for the next matchup. Uh, I gave points to the winners of the previous match, so if you bet on Desperado, quick round of applause for you. <laughs> All right, so we've got Ricochet and we have got Guys, this is the second match. Go ahead and start the prediction and let's watch. Don, thanks for the sub, bro. I appreciate it, man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the public enemy from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Pretty Ricky coming down to the ring, dressing in blue tonight, looking to represent the public enemies and get the dub against the newest newest acquisition for the EA uh, Dragonov. And I'm doing all right, Doug. He's just doing some uh, MTW, doing some betting. Oh, the champ is on here. Dragunov. Good lord. <laughs> the champ has blessed the champ is here. Um, you know, everybody knows how I feel about Ricochet. Uh, don't think I didn't say anything. Uh, congratulations on dragging off a winning. <laughs> we have got a 10K bet going on. 5K on each competitor. <laughs> and his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. 
this is Dragunov's debut in the Dark Zone, and he is looking to come in and uh, get his first dub in MTBW well, have, after losing to Adam Cole in the in the open weight tournament, the classic. Well, I, I have no doubt that he'll get his first win. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and put Dragunov in the win column. I like seeing dra uh, Ricochet, excuse me, prove you wrong. I don't well, know. And, 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 and I, I'm, I'm supposed to be unbiased, but every time Ricochet comes out, I just want to see him win because it makes you so angry. Well, we've been waiting for that win for 15 weeks, so you tell me. He won the match to be number one contender. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it's been. <laughs> That's how long it's been, MT. Match of high flying against pure strength. Mm. Ricochet not even taking his jacket off. That's how confident he is in this match. Wow. Good lord. Okay. The utter disrespect. <laughs> oh! Right off the oh. bat. Elevated flatliner. And oh. a Pele kick. Goodness gracious. Ricochet. Oh! Kicks Ricochet Dragunov. is on. Okay, see, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Lord. Now we got Dragunov on the offensive. Oh, good Lord, oh. Chop. Oh. Oh, kicks. Oh, my goodness. And this is what I'm talking about, Ern. Shotgun drop kick into the corner. Wow. Standing moonsault goes for the cover. One, two. two. Oh, wow. Almost a oh. three count. That was just dragging off resting. He's fine. Oh, nice move by Ricochet. Oh, oh misses. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. There we go, dragging off. <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. Oh, boy. And this is the problem right here. Exactly. You just, make that one mistake, Dragunov is going to stay on top of you. Dragunov is just pure excellence when it comes to uh, in-ring work. This man is a fantastic technical wrestler, and that's what the UE is basically built on. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Ricochet getting up. Ooh. 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 Holy smokes. Top rope. Sent on it. Looks, oh, my God. Has the arm, he's got him in a lapel lock. And he's just bending Ricochet back. Ricochet's trying to get out of it. Oh my God. Oh, Ricochet gets out and just gives him a punch right to the throat. And it worked. Oh, the punch uh -oh. is ducked. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Right to the chest, Ricochet. Wow. Holy wow. smokes, Ricochet. Wow. This is why he's still on the public enemy. Goodness oh, gracious. gracious. Ricochet. I don't know the MC. I'm just not. I'm not impressed with all that. Oh, just not. I'm sorry. Man, don't know how you couldn't be. Northern Light suplex continues into a deadlift suplex. Goodness that was gracious! Beautiful. Are you not? Oh my goodness. Uh oh. The reach around. Goodness. Ricochet is on another level right now. He is trying Ricochet to is on fire. show Dragunov. Ooh, oh, plants him. One, two. Ern, I, I bought that Ricochet was going to get the win. I thought that was it. Man, that was a nice. Uh-oh. Going to go for the 630. High That's risk. It. Oh! <laughs> right there. This might be a big turning point. Dragonov smartly is throwing him out the ring. I was going to say, Dragonov is very smart to do this and catch his breath a little bit. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. Take all the pressure off of Ricochet being in the inside of the ring. Absolutely. Now he can just fight dirty. Uh oh. Ricochet. Oh. Punches him right in the face. A great matchup by two uh, competitors in the open weight division. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing, dragging off? <laughs> Ricochet. Oh, boy. What oh, is no. this? Oh. oh. 
top rope. No, middle rope crossbody. Beautiful. And Ricochet might be looking for it. Yep. Another. Yep. What is this? What is Phoenix Whoa. Splash! Phoenix Splash from the top rope. Oh my god. Ricochet going for the cover. That One, two. My goodness. Oh. Mama mia. Holy oh. smoke. Elevated oh. flatliner oh. again. Ricochet has just been in control of this match. He has been in control of this match. I don't like it. <laughs> Going to the top to try and end it again. Oh, no. 6.30. Got Hits it. it this time. This that, might be that it. Could be it. One, two, three. Ricochet coming away victorious. Suck on an egg. Urn. Yeah, that egg is salt. It will suck. Damn it. Good job, Ricochet. Max says, pay me, I say gladly. Congratulations, Max. <laughs> you bet on the right person. <laughs> she said, I want this tank to come out of her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Ricochet. Trying to send a message, not even taking off his jacket the entire match and pinning Dragon off. Yeah, his first match in the yeah, don't be celebrating. You get a little best on. Goodness gracious. Holy smokes, and Ricochet is just celebrating right now. This is, uh, this is crazy. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, man, he's getting a chair right now. Oh, oh, Lord. He's about to beat the brakes off of this thing. Oh, and here comes the rest of the EA urn. Holy smokes, things are just breaking down right now. Yeah, this this match between the, the EA and the uh, public enemy seems to happen soon. These guys are going to kill each other. Man, and here comes Swerve in our glory. They come down to the ring. Now this is just filling out of the uh, of, of the, the dark zone. Looks like it's going backstage. This is getting, this is getting crazy. Oh, my yeah, God. I like it. I like it. Wow. <laughs> he said, I like it. Good. All out war. <laughs> 15K was bet on Dragon Up. Good lord. I just mentioned, oh, oh man. It got higher. Wow. And he still lost. That's great. Um, <laughs> um, didn't like that you brought that up, but I digress. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we have got Murphy uh, in his first match since splitting from the Chosen One, since turning his back on AJ Styles. Um, Murphy will be having a match against Eddie Kingston, trying to come out on his own and prove that, uh, basically what he said, that he um, doesn't need AJ. Earn. Well, like he's in the same he's in the same boat as Ricochet. Um, week in, week out, they're gonna have to prove themselves uh, because they don't have that great win win total. So I mean, we'll see what he does against a very, very, very tough competitor like Eddie Kingston. Uh, I, I do believe that. Listen, uh, for whatever whatever Matthews has to say, AJ took this man in because he actually believed in Matthews, and he was actually trying to help him. For you to turn your back on somebody like that, um, on a on a on a icon in this industry, uh, who was trying to do you uh, your career for the better, I, I think that's just about a lot about your character, to be honest. It does. Absolutely. Um, it just shows that Buddy's a snake. But maybe that fits him. And maybe that would, uh, like maybe that will uh, strike a match in his ass and give him some wins. Maybe this was him the entire time, Ern. Maybe. Let's be real. Maybe this was him the entire time. Well, that's we, why he wasn't winning. <laughs> we're going to go to the next match, guys. Eddie Kingston versus Buddy Matthews. Uh, get your, your points in. Make those predictions. That should start now.
<laughs> oh, it's his evil twin. It's his evil twin. <laughs> AJ hired his evil twin. <laughs> it's Curry Murphy. It's, it's Curry. Curry. Curry Stevens. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my goodness. Man, I didn't know MTDW was cloning people. Wow. <laughs> we're ahead of the times, Aaron. We're doing things that nobody's ever thought. <laughs> Holy crap, an evil scientist. Evil. Holy smokes. Oh, my God. Well, guys, we just saw, obviously, uh, AJ was behind this attack. Uh, not happy. <laughs> I, I don't know, know that shit happened. I didn't know AJ had, um, I, I didn't know AJ had a degree in science. <laughs> the mad scientist AJ style, guys. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. Matthew that is not is happy amazing. that his evil cloned twin just whooped his ass. <laughs> Curry, Curry Stevens. Oh my God. All right, guys, we are going to move on to the next matchup. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to go from here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next matchup. So yes, yes, yes. Katsuyori Shibata, the new number one contender for uh, Will Ospreay's MTDW World Championship, has been announced as the uh, the new uh, number one contender after coming in second place. Um, or yeah, after coming in second place. Uh, so. Uh, because of this, Will Ospreay has sent his goon, his top goon, out to go after him in Walter. Uh, now, this is a, a high-profile match, and Walter has been on a tear. Uh, but he did lose to Sho Tanaka uh, on our, our show, Back to the Dark Zone. And I would like to announce this, that at popular demand, Sho Tanaka will get a chance to go after Walter's uh, Tropic City Rumble title. Oh, uh, and if he wins, then then it's his. Then he gets to cash in whenever he wants, wherever he wants, and whoever he wants. So, Walter needs to win this match, I think, in order to get some momentum back on his side. A there you of, go. A lot of stakes in this match. Yeah. Yeah, apparently, um, it's going to be some chops coming, I think, in this match. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, I, if I was Will Ospreay, too, I'd seen the goon all, uh, also welcome King. Make sure to get your uh, votes in, guys. Hopefully, we don't have uh, more mad scientists in this match trying to do oh, That was so good. <laughs> we gon' see. Good Lord. All right, guys. Make sure to get your votes in, and the match will start now. Did not know that AJ Styles had a degree in genetics. <laughs> coming down to the ring. He has got a big challenge ahead of him, Ern. It might not be the champion, but Walter is nobody to mess with. No, he's not. And he is going to be a tough out for anybody in MTBW right now. Yeah, a damn chopping machine. <laughs> Vienna, Austria. 
Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the All-Star Atlantic Champion, Walter! The thug of the Euro Alliance, Walter, coming down to the ring. He calls himself the ring general. I call him a thug. That's all he is, Ern. He is just the guy that is sent out by Osprey to just destroy people. And it has worked he's, out for Osprey so far. Absolutely. He's definitely the most dangerous man in MTDW right now. Walter. 10K on Walter. Good Lord. Woo. Somebody's spinning some buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Crowd already chanting for Walter. Good it's a good boy. chance. Walter might kill this man. Oh! Oh! Shabata! Uh -oh. Shabata! Holy smoke! Hopping, doing kicks. And Shabata, not one to stand around for this. Oh, oh my god, big missile drop kick off the top rope. Holy smokes. Oh, there we go. That's takedown yeah. by Walter. Oh. This is gonna be Punish a very it. violent match turn. Yeah. I 100% believe that. Good Ow. Lord. Damn. Good Lord. Straight up a thug, just like you said, a thug. Break your shit, break it. There's nothing fancy about Walter, and he just tries to hurt people. That's what he does, and he does it well. Yeah, he does. He's uh, very, very, very successful doing that. Oh, nice reversal by Walter. Uh-oh. And he's just throwing Damn. Shibata around. Goodness gracious. Ooh. Oh, my God. Damn. What in the world? Just nonstop domination. That's all it is. Yeah, and Shibata's oh. got to throw his ass out of the ring. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, look, smart the ref hold him back. What was the ref holding him back for? He just seen him get his ass whipped for about five minutes. Trying to. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Yeah, a bunch of slaps in succession from Shibata. And he just keeps it coming. Oh, my Lord. Ern, he just hit him a whole bunch of times and didn't take him down once. Yeah, that was the bitch slap combo. Oh, now it's Walter's turn. These two are just beating the ever-loving hell out of each other. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, his oh. throat. His throat. Walter just gets in the ring. <laughs> he turned his back on him and then leaned against the turnbuckle. Disrespect. Oh, boy. No, oh, no. Shibata throwing Walter back in the ring. He says, you want to get in the ring, you stay there. Oh! oh! Both trying to go for slaps. I think it's very interesting that Shibata is matching Walter's chops. That's true. He, I think, oh. oh! I feel like he's done more chops than uh, Walter's done. Oh. What's Walter going for? Nope. <laughs> we won't know. Uh-oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Lifts him up. Are we seeing a brain busters? Oh! The God, jack a jackhammer. Goodness gracious. And down goes Walter. Shibata very smart to work the arm. Oh. This is, he knows that Walter uses it to, uh, to hit him with that, uh, that power bomb. Yes, yes, absolutely. And he does not want that. Oh! Shibata staying on Walter with all of these strikes, Ern. Yeah, he's he's been relentless the last couple minutes. He's going he's doing a good job against Walter, and then he gets elbow to stomach. <laughs> he was doing a great job. Yeah. Walter, oh my oh. god! And that's how you stop the momentum right there. Yeah, it is. So quickly. Oh! Oh! Nice move by Shibata. Tried to go for a grapple and he couldn't get him in time. Oh, Shibata moved out of the way. Oh uh -oh. boy! Here we go. Here it is. Boom. Oh, my God. Ooh. 
Walters Damn. right in the head, and that might be a wrap. One, two. Ooh. Damn. If he had pinned Walters that quickly, that would have been a huge message to Osprey, and he's uh -oh. going for the freaking sleeper. sleeper. Holy smokes. Walter's big ass might be going to sleep, ladies Is and gentlemen. Is he going to put Walter to sleep? Oh, my God, no. Jesus. Aaron, Damn. I don't think I've seen somebody be this close to killing Walter. Not since Eddie. Oh, my God. Is he going to try it again? Oh, no. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, my goodness. What is this? Uh oh. Oh, he goes over the top. To his shoulders. Right oh. into the corner. Holy That's an MPW special. Big shot. Goodness gracious. Big shot. Good lord. Uh oh. Oh, God. What is this? What is this? Oh, man. That's gotta hurt. Shabata was doing so well. He needs to start getting that momentum back. He can't. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus freaking Christ. Big That's power it. bomb. One, That's it. two. Are you Walter. kidding me? One power bomb, Ernest. One. That's it. One. The goon has struck again. Good lord. When what a what a, what a show by Shibata though. He 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 took, he took he took some hits and he did his work in this match. But as usual, Walter he overwhelmed him at the end of this match. He hit him with everything he got and it wasn't enough and walter just hit him once <laughs> and oh. that one power bomb took everything out of shibata i wouldn't have got up here with shibata i don't blame you oh my god walter is just a monster an unstoppable beast Ernest. holy smokes yeah he's unstoppable good lord he's not even breathing hard look at him <laughs> And it looks like Osprey's coming down now just to pick up the scraps. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's picking. Oh my god. He's picking him up and he hit him with an, uh, a Stormbreaker. And what in the world? Crazy. I like that. Yeah. Crazy. He's like a vulture. Just, just keep feeding on your prey. Oh my god. This is, this is unbelievable. Well, I've just received uh, some news from the back. Uh, because of the action scare from Osprey um, and Shibata, uh, and, and onto Shibata, we are going to actually get a giant main event next week, Ern. Um, we are going to get uh, a challengers versus champion six-man uh, tag team matchup. We will have Andrade, Shibata, and Fatu on one team going up against Malachi, Osprey, and Hangman Page. Uh, wow. We will also have, because of the, uh, the fallout earlier with the uh, EA and the public enemies, we will also have um, Keith Lee going up against Zack Sabre Jr. and Isaiah Swerve Scott going up against Finn Balor next week. Also, next week, because of the attack on, um, uh, on, uh, uh, on the villain by Nakajima, the villain has challenged Nakajima to a handicap match. If Nakajima isn't, uh, and these are his words, if he's not a, uh, a pussy and will accept it, it will be Nakajima against the villain and Lee Moriarty in a MTDW handicap match. Now, an MTDW handicap match means that um, it's normal tag rules for the tag competitors, but if you're pinned, you're eliminated. It's an elimination-style handicap match. So he'll have to run the gauntlet if he ends up getting in the ring with the villain and Moriarty. Interesting, interesting. So a big uh, uh, go-home show planned for next week. We'll, I'll let you know later on to see what Nakajima's answer is. But up next, we have got a, a huge match. Kazuchika Okada challenged Goshi Ozaki last week uh, to a number one contenders match for the um, MTDW Championship. Goshi Ozaki agreed. Uh, Okada's been on kind of a roll, and this week he wanted to challenge himself some more. Going into a match against the leader of Los in Granada's de Japón, Tetsuya Naito. Uh, this will be a, a interesting matchup, say the least. Yeah, um, you know what? Okada 
still I think he's he's starting to get that momentum back. He's starting to be uh like one of the top guys once again. Um Naito, you know what? Let, let's let's see what he does against uh, the Great Okada. He, it's gonna be a tough match. I think the, the styles really match up really well, so we'll see how it goes. Yes. Uh, the last time I think we saw Naito in a matchup uh, was in that four-way at uh, Tropic City Rumble. He did uh, all right uh, in the M1 Invitational, but getting uh, got eliminated by uh, he got eliminated by uh, Omega actually fairly quickly. So uh, he, yeah. he, I think he needs a win right here too. But uh, like you said, Okada's been on a roll, so we'll see what happens. Absolutely. So it should be a good match. Let's check it out. All right, guys, uh, go ahead and get your votes in. The predictions are up and ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 238 pounds, O-Car-R. -R. The Rainmaker. Earned. This guy is on a mission now. His last couple matches have been nothing short of greatness that we've seen. Yeah. I 100% agree with you on that. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like he's trending in the right direction. I feel like he's probably more focused than he's been in a couple years. He, he sees the talent that's here at MTBW, and I feel like that, you know, Okada is trying to get his way back to a title shot. Yes. Uh, this guy, a, a big mainstay in New Japan, came to MTBW for a new challenge, lost in the, uh, for, in the tournament, in the semifinals, and hasn't been in the, in the title uh, hunt since then. Uh, but now he is just, he is just on a roll. We'll see if that continues here. But he has got a big match coming up against uh, Ghost Shiozaki, who he lost uh, his title opportunity opportunity to in the semifinals. Yeah. And his opponent from Japan, Weighing in at 252 pounds, the Superstar! Katsuya Naito coming down to the ring, taking it easy. Leader of Los Ingranados de Abon. Vern, what is uh, Naito going to have to do in order to get this uh, this W? Uh, be consistent. Don't make any mistakes. And you should be fine. And, you know, Okada should at least give him one opportunity to be able to sneak in and maybe uh, get, I, Okada's going to win. I don't know. I wasn't going anywhere with that. Okada's going to win. Naito, we haven't seen enough of him. He hasn't really been busy. He hasn't been wrestling that much. I feel like Okada's the hotter wrestler right now. But you know what? Naito might be able to pull it off, but I, I seriously doubt it. I thought I thought you had something going at first. I, I do like uh, your your assessment of uh, if Naito wants it, he's gonna have to be, he's gonna have to stay on Okada, because I, I think you were right that if, if he if he doesn't stay on Okada, Okada will end this. This guy is uh, very precise. Yes. And there we go, Naito right at the beginning of the match, Ern. Top turnbuckle. That is a very popular move here in MTDW. Oh. <clears throat> oh, choking the shit out of him with his boots. He is. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Good Lord. Okada reverses it. Oh. Big chop to the chest. Oh, Lord. And where is Okada going? He doesn't yeah, get he far. Way too long. Yeah, he was going way too long with that. Yeah, he was. Very big punches. Oh. Okada reverses it. I thought he was going to try and throw him right over. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, this here we hurt. go. Yeah, this hurts all, every time it hurts. Oh. Right onto the hardest part of the ring, Ernest. Yeah, that hurts every single time I see. Oh. And now he's just continuing going right at the back. And this is what we say about Okada. He is very smart. 
Yeah. Hit absolutely. the backdrop on the apron and then went right after the back. It's kind of like methodical in his wrestling style, which I enjoy. Oh. Okay. I don't. What was that? I don't know. I thought I was. He was gonna try and put him over the rope, but uh, I guess not. Going for something different. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Man, Big good thing he's wearing that shirt. <laughs> I'm saying. Big chops in the corner. Okada going to the top rope. Is he going to be able to hit this? Referee better get out the way. He's going to kick the referee in the face. Oh, oh. Naito oh. catches Okada and slams Holy him shit. down. That was impressive. Holy smokes. He said nah and called him. Oh. Goes for the cover. Referee. One. Okada kicks out very quickly at one. That was just Naito letting Okada know that, hey, <laughs> this pin can, this this move can pin your ass at any time tonight. Uh oh. Ooh, oh. Shot from the top rope. And now, oh, I was gonna say Naito is doing a good job staying on Okada, but look at that. Just right yeah. when I say that, Okada just reverses it. Oh gosh. And there we go, the neck breaker. Oh, oh goodness oh, gracious. Shit. At Naito no time in a ever lot of good. trouble. Oh, Rainmaker! Oh, Rainmaker! Yeah. One, two, Jesus Woo! freaking Christ! Oh! Yeah. And the quickest match of the night, Ernest. I told oh, you, man. Kata. Kata is trending in the right direction. Oh man. This guy anybody is who dangerous. has a title. Anybody who has a title needs to watch out for this guy right now. Man, that was a hell of a rainmaker. One rainmaker is all it took. Ghost Giazaki was the former champion, but you gotta Here think going into this winner. match, he is in a lot of trouble, man. Yeah, I agree, he is. Max is the face of Japanese wrestling. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's bored. He looks like he's upset that the match was over so fast. He is going to get his uh, his challenge earned. And you got to think, Okada has been waiting to get another piece of Shiyazaki since losing to him in that tournament matchup. Indeed, indeed. He is not the champion because of Go Shiyazaki. This matchup popular as a man might be one of the, uh, that might steal the show, if I'm being completely yep. honest. That might be a match of the night. You never know. That could be a match of the night. It might be. All right, guys, we are getting to the main event of the, of the stream today. Um, we have got uh, Kenny Omega going up against John Moxley. Now, before this match started, we got a hold of Omega, and we asked him, you know, what's the update uh, on, uh, on Abushi? Have you talked to him? And he's just like, you know, Abushi right now, um, he, he hasn't been uh, answering any of my calls. Um, I, I, I can't tell you how he's doing, you know. I've been trying to see him. Um, the doctors say he's doing well, so I, I do know that. Um, but I think I want, I just, I want us to all pray for him. I, w I hope that he's doing better. Um, you know, that's my best friend, and uh, I, I just want, I want him to be good. So I just, if we could just pray for him, and, and everything will be fine. So Okada, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Omega, kind of coming into this match, and yeah, he doesn't even look like he's mentally 100% into it. Er? Well, I guarantee you this much, John Moxley doesn't care. So, uh, <laughs> Kenny Omega better get his shit together, worry about what he can fix and what he can deal with right now, and get in the ring and fight. If he's going to fight, fight for his friends. <laughs> that is true. All right, let me put uh, this up real quick, guys. All right, we have got Omega and Moxley in the main event, guys. This is the final match on the screen. Make sure to get those points in. Clapping oh! at you. Canada, weighing in at 200. <laughs> 
227 pounds, Kenny Omega. So hashtag Kenny Save Player. Kenny Omega <laughs> coming out. Uh, this will be very interesting. I'm very interested to see how this matchup uh, goes. Uh, Kenny not in the right uh, mind frame, and like you said, uh, Moxley does not give a shit. This no, is probably the worst care. opponent for Kenny Omega to have right now. Yeah, he will not take it easy, easy on Kenny at all. He doesn't care what Kenny's going through. Moxley's only focus is the Ws. That's all he cares about, and beating the shit out of somebody. That's all he wants. Yeah. And if, if, if Kenny doesn't pay attention, he's just going to get his ass. He's coming into an yeah. after. Yeah, absolutely. We got 7.6K on Moxley going into this matchup. My goodness. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 231 pounds, John Moxley. Here comes John Moxley. All right, we have not seen Moxley in a while, kind of going through a little bit of a slump. Yeah. Uh, in the Intercontinental Division. Uh, he might use this to try and pick himself back up. Yeah, he needs to use, he needs to use something because he, he has not really been a name that we have said at all in the last couple weeks in NTDW. So we'll see if tonight will be a, a, a stepping stone to get him back into the winning column. And I wouldn't have thought that when MTDW started, to be completely honest. I would have thought that Moxley yeah. would have been a mainstay in, in this division, but he has been on the climb. Uh, absolutely. So, I mean, this is a good match to get you back in the win column. Let's see what how it goes for him. All right. 15 minutes on the clock, and we are starting. Oh, Jesus. That was a nice Damn. duck, but. Uh, Damn. And this is exactly what you were talking about, Ern. Oh, my God. Oh, Damn. my Lord. This is what you were talking about, though, Ern. Yeah. Moxley doesn't There's, give a shit. No, he doesn't care. He does not going to feel bad for Kenny. Oh, 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 Jesus. Damn. Kenny Omega needs to get his mind right. This is not going well. Moxley will beat him up for like four or five minutes. Just, you know, yeah, he, it's been all Moxley so far in this match. Yep. Omega Damn. with no offense. Uh-oh. Moxley going to the top rope. What's he got planned? Uh-oh. Oh! Ooh. The top rope axe handle misses. And Omega... Oh, here we go. Oh, misses the uh -oh. slap. Belly to belly. Oh, that was a nice belly to belly, too. Well, he paid for that. Maybe it's just because his head's not in the right space. Yeah, Moxley, absolutely. Moxley going after the arm. Oh. Nice reversal. Some knees right to the head. Yeah, that was a spectacular reversal. But there you go. Moxley on his game right now. And it looks like Moxley's trying to get oh, oh, Omega to the corner, but he took too long, Ern. Took too much time. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you gotta. I mean, just because we said Kenny's game, his head's not in the game, doesn't mean Kenny's just gonna lay down like a dog and do nothing. And uh, I, I like the use of the word dog right there. Uh, and uh, yeah, you like that? <laughs> Kenny Omega going to the top rope. Oh, he's calling for. Uh, he's calling for him to get up. Goodness <laughs> gracious, Kenny! What is going Shit. on? <laughs> Kenny's out here seeing ghosts. <laughs> oh my gosh. And what is Moxley do going after the arm of Kenny Omega? Omega is just in a bad space right now. He is doing yeah, terrible. He is. He's doing terrible. <laughs> Dragon screw leg whip to uh to Moxley. Goes off the rope. I was Ooh. gonna say Omega's gonna have to start hitting some big moves quickly because right now he is Kamagoye! Oh. That's that's a Bushi's finisher! What in the world? Another knee! Good Lord, Ernest, what is Holy going on? What happened to him? I guess he's getting serious. Oh boy. Snap suplex. Nice snap suplex. And Moxley is being serious now. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's got the leg captured into a suplex. I thought he was gonna go into a bridge. He decided not to, he's gonna go for the cover. 
One. Which is weird. Two. Why not going to the bridge? Oof. Oh yeah. man, that I, was that was. I think I think if he had gone to the instant bridge, I think he would have had that extra second. Aaron. I think so too. I think he'd had the victory if he went to the bridge. Gonna go for the oh, was gonna go for the paradigm shift, but doesn't get it. Backbreaker. Oh, man, man. he's so clean. Uh oh. Oh lord, what is he going to for now? Is he gonna go for the? Oh my god! Ooh. Another move from Abushi, the Phoenix Flash. This is interesting. Very interesting. Oh. And a, Man, nice a German. nice German. That was a beautiful German. Yeah, it was. Oh, boy. And the backbreaker. Uh -oh. oh, is returned. He is setting Kenny up for that paradigm shift. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Moxley in control. Goes for the cover again. That's for it. One, two. And look at Ooh. Kenny having to insert that much energy to kick out, Ern. Yeah, that's, that's rough for Kenny right there. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Omega in uh -oh. trouble. What is this? Goes right back to the arm. Into Man. a submission, into an arm bar. This and is he great. has the this perfect position on him. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, no. Mox is going to the top rope. I don't know if this is mm. smart. I don't know if this yeah, is smart. Mox is what you know. Come on, Mox. You got to stick to what you know. I didn't think that was a good idea. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Kenny oh. Omega, is he going to hit it? Is Mox going to be able to get out? What wing angel? Right, that could be it. One, two, and oh Ooh. man, Moxley kicking out at two. Oh! 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 Snapdragon suplex, goodness gracious. Man, that was rough. Oh, oh. tried to go for another one wing angle. Moxley got out of it. Into the oh. bridge. Holy oh. smokes, one, two. Can he kick out? Holy smokes. What a match. What is this uh -oh. paradigm shift? And he nails it. Uh, he nails it. He nails it. That could it. be it for Kenny. One, two. Kenny kick out. Wow. Again. So they both kicked out of Kenny. Wow. What a hell of a match. This is a spectacular match. Oh, oh my God. Reversal oh. after reversal after reversal. What is this? Oh, oh my God! Oh. Kenny strikes him in the face with a knee, and he Ooh. throws him right over the top rope. That was a smart move, Ern. Well, maybe not, because this is definitely what Moxley would want. Oh, oh. B trigger! Oh, holy smokes! Oh, wow! These two are just trading back and forth, Ern. I don't think he even, he didn't even care about that V-Trigger. <laughs> he did not. Moxley knows that he needs this win as much as uh, Omega's trying to get this. For Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. Oh, Snapdragon Super! Oh, out of nowhere! What in it. the world? One, two. Holy Ooh, The ref was just enough in me? the way to cause him to grab him for that. V-Trigger! That's it. That is it. One, two, three. Kenny Omega with the win. <laughs> what a hell of a match. Unbelievable. What a match. Goodness gracious. What a, what, that's a hell of a main event we had right there. That was fantastic. Kenny Omega coming through clutch and getting the W. Good Lord. What did you see how he was waiting for Moxley and then he just hit boom snapdragon right there into the V trigger if we can get that one more time. Well I think I think uh, the Kenny was smart. The ref was just enough in the way to be in Moxley's way that Kenny just went behind him and grabbed him. And then after that the V trigger and he laid him out. That was it. It was spectacular. Kenny Omega. So smart. So smart. Oh, what is hold on a second. Whoa, we've got Cody Bushi on the screen right now, Aaron. What is this? Hold on a second. We've been wondering what's been happening to him for a while. Hold on. Okay. He, he says, he says, Kenny, congratulations. I bet you're real happy right now. And I bet you were, you'd were you be even happier if I wasn't on the screen right now. But if instead I was at home injured, uh, like you had planned this entire time. What? 
Kenny Omega was the one that did that to Ibushi in the back? What? What? And Kenny's smiling! Kenny says, yeah, I did it. You've been holding me back. I didn't get that number one contender shot because of you. You needed to go. Uh, there is no, there is no, there's no room for you here. And that was the only way that I could think of taking you out and being and 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 and, and doing it in a in a good way. Uh, I thought you wouldn't notice. Shame on me for not being too concealing about it. Obushi says, Omega. You're gonna have a match with me at popular demand. If you don't, I'm gonna make your life miserable. And wow. Omega says, I accept. Wow. For the, first black, time, but... for the first time in MTDW, we are going to have Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi going up against each other. This is a huge matchup. This is a huge this, matchup. This is turning into a huge pay-per-view is what it's turning to. Holy smokes, yes, a huge, uh, a huge event that we've got coming up for you guys. Uh, that is it uh, for today's stream, guys, by the way. Shout out to you who voted for uh, Kenny Omega in that match. Uh, Ern, do you have anything to promote on your channel before we head out today? Hey, tomorrow, if you're at home, like I am, and luckily I will be uh, streaming Destiny for probably, eh, probably like four or five hours tomorrow. If you want to come by the stream and check it out, I should start about nine o'clock. But uh, you're more than welcome to come by and check it out. All right. And on Saturday, I will be back with uh, day 12 of the Five Star Grand Prix. I will be joined by uh, I Am Watoza and uh, possibly another guest. Um, we'll, we'll make that a surprise if she shows up or not. Uh, Sunday, we'll be back with the Budget Cut Podcast. Uh, and yeah, I am going to send you guys uh, over to uh, the homie Dope. You guys have a good night and a good fight. We will catch you guys later. Peace.